My wife often makes some lovely pumpkin treats called sopaipillas. They are very popular in our country of birth and our grandchildren love them, even though our grandchildren are second generation Australians. My job is to cut the pumpkin, but I have to admit, using a big knife for that job does not make me feel safe at all. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Rancho Fresh channel. From an economic point of view, buying a whole pumpkin and then cut it into pieces makes sense, as it is cheaper to buy it whole than buy it pre-cut. Also, when you cut a whole pumpkin, you get many pieces, so you can freeze some of them for later and have them ready to use when the family is asking for more sopaipillas. The problem is that cutting pumpkin using a sharp big knife can be quite dangerous. You have to apply a lot of force and it is hard to keep the pumpkin in place. I remember that back in my country of birth, the people at the market cut pumpkin using a small hand saw, not a knife. I was sure I was not going to find exactly the same type of hand saw at the local warehouse, so I bought a pruning saw instead, as they look similar to the type of hand saw I remember. As the pruning saw cuts in both directions, pushing and pulling, I found it was quite easy to cut the pumpkin. Of course, I was wearing a pair of gloves with good grip to reduce the risk of cutting myself. It is better to cut the pumpkin in half first, so you can have a good flat surface for good support as you keep cutting the pumpkin into smaller pieces. You can use a spoon to remove the seeds, but if you have an ice cream scoop, the job is even easier. I think a straight hand saw would have worked even better, but the pruning saw works well, and so much safer than a knife. Peeling the pumpkin was quite easy as well. Some time ago I bought some peelers at the Queen Victoria Market in Melbourne and I have to say they are fantastic. I'm not as good as the guy that was selling the peelers at the market but I can manage to do the job well enough. After the pumpkin is cut into big pieces and after the skin has been peeled, then it is the time to bring the big sharp knife. At this stage, cutting the pumpkin into smaller pieces is quite easy and safe. Provided I keep my hand on top of the knife, the job is simple and with very little risk. After cutting the pumpkin, I use freezer bags to pack smaller amounts of pre-cut pumpkin. That way, my wife can take as much or as little pumpkin from the freezer as needed. I always leave some of the pumpkin bags in the freezer on top of the fridge and I store the rest in the freezer in our food storage room. It may look like a small thing, but cutting our own pumpkin represents one more little step towards resilience and self-reliance. One day I will be cutting pumpkin grown in my own garden that day the sopaipillas will taste even better. <laughs> 